Air Force participation in the National Space Transportation System includes providing both launch and recovery facilities and planning for Department of Defense space shuttle operations. At Vandenberg Air Force Base, the AFSC facilities for processing payloads in the space shuttle vehicle are under construction. This is the location of the launch pad, payload service tower, control center, and associated facilities. The space shuttle vehicle consists of the large external tank, two solid rocket boosters, and the orbiter itself. The space shuttle vehicle will be launched from this complex when polar orbits are needed for the mission. AFSC's Arnold Engineering Development Center has completed wind tunnel tests, documenting stability and control surface effectiveness of the space shuttle. The model is one of the most precisely detailed ever built. It includes surface features as small as the cargo door hinge line, and special attention was paid to the area around the three main engine exhaust nozzles. This is the largest orbiter model ever installed in the two wind tunnels used in the tests, sponsored by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The tests at AEDC examined that portion of the orbiter's re-entry as it slowed from eight times the speed of sound to one quarter that speed. They also included in-flight maneuvers that might be needed to correct its flight path. These wind tunnel tests offer considerable advantages in safety, as well as time and dollars savings. Air Force participation with NASA for the space shuttle also includes developing and producing an inertial upper stage for positioning payloads that must go beyond the shuttle's 600-mile altitude capability. The Air Force Flight Test Center at Edwards Air Force Base provided support for testing the Enterprise during its piggyback flights and the first landing tests, including landings on a concrete runway. During the operational phase, the orbiter can use either Vandenberg Air Force Base or Cape Canaveral, Florida. Both facilities will have a 15,000-foot runway for orbiter recovery. It lands much like a conventional aircraft, but without power. With a potential for more than 100 missions in its lifetime, each shuttle will show substantial cost reductions and a potential to significantly enhance the effectiveness of Department of Defense space missions. <laughs>